okay. So uh, what do we have here? This is uh, this is Boxcar 1001, VT Boxcar 1001, and they sold it to the Paramount Studios about 1938, and they used it in the movie Union Pacific, and Union and the movie studios made it into a blacksmith car, and this is the remains of it. This is the hood for the blacksmith car, and then we have a uh, oh bunch of other stuff for it. So that's a really nice thing. Um, and then uh, behind that is the derrick for the um, the boom, I should say, and the mass for the uh, uh, 1874 Wells and French uh, uh, number uh, 50 car. And uh, it was built in 1874. Very unique piece in the whole country, I think. Uh, let's see, we have some uh, casting marks here that are pretty cool. Well, the, the truck assemblies are a really nice shape, and uh, for what it is, and uh, they have some other. Uh, Cliff Jennings did a nice uh, write-up on this, an engineering write-up, uh, really thorough. So uh, it's a marvelous document to work off of. And we had th some of the best pictures of this uh, are from the movies. When the movies huh. were using it, you could see it. And it was using a couple of the big scenes. So unfortunately, we had to cut it in third to get it out of there. But the beams need to be replaced anyway. So. Uh, these are the outriggers and the, the, the big snatch block um, and then the end of the car for the uh, for the other box car we had to cut in third to get it out of there otherwise it was just gonna go away right so at least it's here back in Nevada and uh, you know we could do something with it hey that might be is that the Reno's brake beam well, the that's the number 50 brake beam oh it looks like the Reno's brake beam almost but it's not but it's complete. It is, I mean, it really is complete. That's so, amazing. Yeah, and uh, so it's, and then uh, over here. So back at Old Tucson Studios in '95, there was a fire that burnt up the the sound stage and the back lot. And uh, unfortunately, a VT car, I think it was one, burnt down the Express car, oh, wow. the Lightning Express. But we have the wheels from it, and then all the trucks were gone. And then we have the Lincoln Pin coupler assemblies. But this piece over here is pretty cool. This is a uh, a hand cart for laying track and these wheels were cast by the uh, Central Pacific shops in Sacramento and I think we think it might have been used to help build the Transcontinental Railroad and then the V&T bought it second hand and then the movie studios bought it from the V&T about 1938 and they put it on the box car the blacksmith car for that movie Union Pacific and you can see pictures of this and that well wow. um, there's a smokestack there uh, for the last movie that the engine Reno did. For the, uh, they made it look like a 119 at okay. a commentary point. Uh, that was a 1999 movie with uh, Will Smith called uh, Wild Wild West. What's the point of the taller stack versus the shorter stack? Drafting. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then we have, uh, this is an oil burning stack, and the other ones have screens inside. There's sunflower stacks for wood burning locomotives. So like the one that's on the Reno right now at the depot? Yeah. That's a sunflower that's a wood stack. burning stack. Okay. So we have about five or six smokestacks for, or five smokestacks for the Reno, so you can make it for any period you want, you know? Cool. And we'll put back on the oil burning stack with a cap that was like in the 38 when it yeah, last came up here and then my dad rode it. He rode the last train to Virginia City behind the Reno in the 27 and when he was 17 in 1938. And then uh, I bought the Reno locomotive on its 100th birthday to the day. So wow. That pretty cool. Huh, that is very cool. Your dad would be proud. Yeah, he would. What is this thing? Uh, this is the center portion of the Derrick car. This is actually the, the support mast that, the, that the, oh, wow. the boom rides on. We had to, in order to ship that here, this is how we had to do it. We had to cut the main beams off, which were rotten at any rate, that need to be replaced. So. Uh, that's the only way we could get it here, but yep. it's, it's all complete, so I, it could be laid out someday and re gone through. And it's it's a really nice uh, railroad artifact. Yeah, let me see if I can. I don't know if I can show this because it's in the shade, but when Tom says these are in need of repair, you can kind of see what's going on. They're here. all beautifully dialed together. That's why this thing is so strong. It's, it's amazing how they built these. The old wagon makers started building the railroad stuff, and it's amazing how they did it with wood and uh, what iron they had and then the truss bolts 
So everything was in tension and compression at the same time, and it was really strong. It's amazing, because you think about the transport of these things. I was reading about a bar in Virginia City that got transported out to Austin and by wagon, and that must have got beat to bleep, right? <laughs> Somehow that bar handled it, you know, held up. Those guys were tougher than we were. We yeah. Were. Um, so we have the turntables here. This is from the Amador County Railroad, and that'll fit the uh, old Virginia City turntable pit. And then the other two are turntable halves that were from the Western Pacific uh, at the Keddy, Keddy up there. Oh, wow. And then um, here's some of our uh, Lincoln pin sockets. Do, does it, do those predate the Keddy Y? Like, did they get rid of the turntable because they put the Y in, or? They must have had a roundhouse up in Keddy. Huh, interesting. You know, I don't know, yeah. Um, then these are the Lincoln pin before automatic couplers. Uh, the, these are the Lincoln pin sockets and um, the remains of what we could find up there. Another smokestack for that was used on the Reno in the movies. Some of the uh, tower couplers, I think those were on the number 17 that burned. 17 or 18, I think it's 17. Wow. Or 19. It's a second, VT, it's an older coach, but the VT bought it second hand and that burnt also in that big fire. And then uh, here we have boxcar 1007. Wow. Uh, and it still has the number underneath on the framework and the year of 1872. Uh, these aren't the original trucks. These are an upgraded truck, but they're still cast with the V&T RR 1875. So they upgraded the trucks. And they're still pretty good shape, you know. They've been protected from the weather. This is a little oil hole uh, to oil the, the waste in the journal solid bearings. But I think that the V&T put new wheels on this before they sent it out to the uh, movie industry. And so the, the you know, the boxcar part's gone, the, the top part, but uh, all the hardware is, uh, is for that still here. And I forgot what you said, it, it burned? What happened to the boxcar? Uh, this one just rotted away over okay. the years. Huh. But I, I've seen the Nevada State Rare Museum has a nice one, and so I think CSRM does too, uh, where it's yellow paint originally. And then over the years they painted it red, but that's the original paint color. Wow, it. oh my gosh. And it's still there after all these years. And then you can see the date of 1870 in here. Let's see. Uh, 1872, excuse me, right there. 1872. Oh yeah, there it is. It's kind of hard to see, but. The car number is to the left there, 1007. I think there's VTRR on there, I forget. Yeah, it's a little hard to see, but it's definitely there. Yeah, wow. that's that's uh, that's pretty old stuff, 150. And then uh, these are uh, for the other box box car, and uh, so I mean, there's nice nice wheel sets. They have the coil springs in there. Uh, they're lightweight cars, but you know they transport a lot of stuff. Yeah, definitely. And then these are the. Uh, uh, Oh, one's missing, but this is the uh, Wells and French uh, trucks. These are much more substantial, but they're complete. They're really nice trucks. Look at that wood. That wood's in good shape. Yeah, and then all the hook, hook points for the... And so it's nice that Cliff Jennings again and, and, you know, Michael Collins and Stephen Drew have done all the research on this. So at least it's, it's this far. We got it this far. Well, look at that. It says 1874 on the wheel. Huh. So we wow. built. <laughs> That's when it was built. Yeah, let me go over there and get a close-up of that. Probably didn't get a lot of miles on it, you know, like a lot of equipment, but... And then... Uh, See right there. 